Hello everyone, Sandbox Code here. I hope everyone had a happy Thanksgiving if you live here in the United States. Over the weekend, we just got a massive drop for the CJS Superbug mod. As far as I can tell, this is the most huge drop yet. Previously, I uploaded a tutorial video a few months back how to install the mod with OVGME. Well now, that video is completely obsolete, so I'm gonna have to go back and update the title of that video actually. The steps were changed so that now all you have to do is simply drag the mod into your save games folder and basically just hop right into the sim. Granted, you need to make sure you install it into the correct folder, which I will show in this video. Anyway, before I get into that, if this is your first time here, I mainly cover military flight sim games and VR content. If that sounds like a good fit for you, consider hitting that like button and subscribe. Let's get right into it. Like I was saying before, the patch notes are incredibly long and it's going to take me quite a while to process it all. So for now, I'm just going to show you what the mod looks like in the editor and how to install it. Also, I want to re-emphasize that this entire process is incredibly streamlined now. Everything's in a single zip file. So like I was saying before, the mod is self-contained now. It's all in like just this one folder. Make sure it's installed like for you. It's going to look something like DCS, save games, mods, aircraft. And then... Make sure this folder, when you go inside that folder, just make sure you see all the file contents in there. Make sure you don't have a folder within a folder. Like sometimes when you extract a zip file, right? Um, if you mess up, I've seen that. That's the most common issue that I've seen all the time when I'm trying to help people troubleshoot why the mod doesn't work. So this is basically pretty much it now. It's like very streamlined, very simple. It's like right here. And then the tanker, everything is like, right, you don't have to do anything else. It's just like installing any other mod, basically. So now you don't have to use OVGME anymore. And you're just extracting the mod right into your mods aircraft folder. Now, if you're brand new, you might not have this mods folder. Just make sure if it's not, if it's not there for whatever reason, it should be like when you run it. DCS the first time I think it creates this, but if, if not, you should be able to just create the mods, aircraft, and then just drag this folder right in there. And of course, it's the current version 2.4. All right, I f probably forgot to mention this at the beginning. Actually, I know I did, but uh, you're gonna, you won't see the modules unless you have the F 18. If you never paid for the F 18, then you won't see it. Anyways, it's right here, by the way, is F18 E and F. So if you don't see this, that means you didn't put it in the right folder, which I showed earlier. I'm trying to think of what else. You don't own the F18. I don't know if historical mode. There's also like a historical filter or something like that. And if if uh let me see. That that might make it so you don't have it, you know. This happens all the time, man. This might be like any time somebody say they I can't see I can't see the mod. It's usually this little filter down here. So make sure that historical filter, make sure you don't have that enabled. You should see it. And alright, spent enough time on that. You should see, like, in this current version of Superbug, you should see, like, a default selection of skins, of course. Different paints, which looks, like, excellent, by the way. Kind of going through it kind of quick. But it looks pretty, pretty good. I want to go back up and show you what... See, this is the E version. Single-seater. And this is just some of the paints. I wanted to go through that right quick. And yeah. Already did that one. Alright, that's pretty much it for this video. 
Hopefully you found it helpful. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, subscribe, all that kind of stuff to help this channel. Hopefully go up a little bit higher on that YouTube algorithm. <laughs> help the algorithm out. All right, that's it.